the female reproductive cycle uh, consists of two parallel cycle of uh, same duration uh, one is called uh, ovarian cycle other is called uterine cycle the cycle are so called because certain events occurs in ovary and uh, certain uh, events occurs in uterus in the same duration the theoretically uh, such duration is considered as 28 days ovarian cycle lasts for 28 days 1 to 28 and uterine cycle also lasts for 28 days otherwise cycle can vary uh, between 25 to 35 days the average duration we take is 28 days so within 28 days duration certain events occurs inside ovary and certain events occurs inside uterus what are those events see the first half of ovarian cycle is called follicular phase first half in this phase uh, development of follicle occurs inside ovary this is primary follicle and secondary follicle tertiary follicle and finally graphene follicle the final stage of follicle is graphene follicle this is after the name of uh, its discoverer graph that's a graphene follicle the middle phase is uh, ovulatory phase ovulation is the release of egg from ovary the uh, graphene follicle ruptured usually during 14 days and egg is released from ovary and when graphene follicle uh, ruptured the remnant of graphene follicle changed into a temporary endocrine gland called corpus luteum the second half of the cycle is controlled by corpus luteum that is called as the luteal phase. The first day of uterine cycle is the day uh, in which bleeding from uterus starts. This stage lasts for 2 to 5 days. We take it uh, 5 days for bleeding phase. During this phase uh, the innermost of uterus, innermost lining of uterus that is endometrium degenerates. It leads to bleeding. This is called bleeding phase. During proliferative phase, the broken down endometrium is reformed. Because reformation of endometrium occurs during this phase, the phase is called proliferative phase. The last phase or the second the half of uterine cycle is called secretory phase because in this phase uh, uterus uh, secretes some useful substance for the probable embryo this phase is called secretory phase 28 days and of uh, 28 days of uterine cycle and 28 days of uh, ovarian cycle runs parallel the entire events of uh, ovarian cycle and uh, uterine cycle controlled by certain hormones. In total, five hormones are uh, involved uh, in controlling uh, the different aspect of menstrual cycle. Two comes from uh, ovary, this is estrogen and progesterone. Two from pituitary, it is LH and FSS. Uh, in this graph, uh, uh, the level of hormones are uh, shown okay, from which days uh, level is high and uh, in uh, what days the level is uh, low and one hormone comes from hypothalamus this is GnRH so total five hormones are involved in controlling cycle here we have uh, uh, this this diagram shows the hormonal regulation of uh, female reproductive cycle. Hypothalamus releases GnRH, gonadotropic releasing hormone. In response to GnRH, anterior pituitary releases FSH and LH. The first half of the uh, cycle, you can see both hormones are secreted, LH and FSH. But for action of hormone, receptors are required and uh, receptors of FSH are present on developing ovarian follicles. So LH secretes but it does not uh, act 
act on uh, most of the follicle cells. So, development of follicle cells occurs mainly in response to LH, FSH. Now, developing follicle starts secreting estrogen hormone. Its function is to proliferate the endometrium. New layer of endometrium is formed in response to estrogen. You can see the level of estrogen is very high. This estrogen is uh, uh, secreted by developing follicular cell. The specific cell which secretes it is called theca interna cells. Its peak is on 13 day, 13 day of uh, the cycle. Estrogen level uh, is maximum. Now, estrogen after uh, proliferating the endometrium acts on hypothalamus on 14 day to increase the secretion of GnRH. So, FSH and LH secretion are increased. You can see on 14 day of the cycle both FSH and LH secretion is increased. But because graphene follicle have more receptors for LH, so uh, LH secretion is uh, more than the FSH secretion. In response to LH and FSH, graphene follicle ruptured egg is released and the remnant of uh, graphene follicle transform into a structure called corpus luteum. Corpus luteum is a temporary endocrine gland. It is temporary endocrine gland. It is formed soon after ovulation from ruptured graphene follicle. It secretes large amount of progesterone and small amount of estrogen. In this graph you can see uh, progesterone level is high and estrogen level is less. This estrogen is uh, this estrogen and progesterone are secreted by corpus luteum. On corpus luteum, progesterone is secreted in large amount as compared to estrogen. Now, what is uh, function of uh, two hormones? It it is involved in uh, the preparation of uterus for pregnancy. Uterus is prepared for pregnancy no matters pregnancy occurs or not does not occur now in response to progesterone and estrogen uterus is prepared for pregnancy if pregnancy does not occur two hormones acts on anterior pituitary as negative feedback and stops the secretion of fsh and lh in the absence of lh which is necessary to maintain uh, corpus luteum, corpus luteum starts changing into corpus albicans. And as soon as corpus luteum changes into corpus albicans, progesterone level falls. And when progesterone level falls, shading of endometrium starts. It leads to bleeding phase of the menstrual cycle.